with reference to the main important uh, features involved in the plant breeding animal breeding with reference to the last class we have studied with reference to some of the important features in the phases of the life cycle just for the study convenience the life cycle in case of living organisms are divided into three important types namely juvenile or vegetative phase the second one is maturity or the reproductive phase the last one is senescence or aging phase are the three important phases normally seen in the life span of the living organism today we shall going to discuss with reference to the main important features of plant breeding and animal breeding in some plants flowers are produced once in their lifetime such a plants are called monocarpic plants some of the classical example for the monocarpic plants are namely sunflower rice or paddy and wheat are said to be the some of the classical example for the monocarpic plants they are either annuals or perennials they are either annuals or perennials in invalid terminology the monocarpic plants are defined as these are the plants flowers are produced once in their life time such a type of flowers are said to be the monocarpic plants there are either annuals or perennials with reference to the second type of plants namely polycarpic plants in some plants after reaching maturity after reaching maturity they produce flowers every year in particular season in particular season throughout the life span throughout the life span such a type of plants are said to be the polycarpic plants some of the classical example for the polycarpic plants are namely mango apple and jackfruit you can expect mango apple and jackfruits in particular season further the monocarpic plants are either annuals or perennials they are either annuals or perennials in a valid terminology the annuals are defined as these are the plants which completes the vegetative growth followed by flowering in one particular season these are the plants which completes the vegetative growth followed by flowering in one particular season of the year later it will die such a unique aspect feature is seen in case of paddy in majority of the monocots and also in case of wheat you can find the presence of annual nature the second one is to be the perennials some of the classical example for the perennials are radish and carrot these are the plants completes their life cycle twice in a year completes their life cycle twice in a year such a type of plants are popularly designated as perennials the two classical examples are namely carrot and in addition to this even in case of cabbage even in case of cabbage you can find the presence of perennial nature their life cycle completes twice in a year these are the plants complete their life cycle twice in a year such a type of plants are called perennials as i earlier said the polycarpic plants are are the plants which produce flowers every year in a particular season they are also designated as 
perineal plants they are also designated as perineal plants in case of perineal plants plants which produce flowers throughout the year these are the plants which produce flowers throughout the year such a type of plants are called perennials the two classical examples are namely coconut and hibiscus coconut and hibiscus are said to be the two classical examples for perennials not with reference to strobilanthus kutiana strobilanthus kutiana is popularly designated as nila kurinji it flowers once in 12 years and it is a monocarpic plants and it is a monocarpic plants strobilanthus kutiana is said to be the monocarpic plant it will produce flowers once in 12 it is normally found in the blue stretch of sahyadri hills of karnataka in the neighboring state you can find the presence of nilgiri hills of tamil nadu in the silent valley of kerala you can find the presence of strabalanthus kutiana strabalanthus kuntiyana it is popularly called nila kurinji it will flowers once in 12 years in addition to this with reference to bamboo bamboo it will maintain its vegetative phase for a period of 50 to 100 years once in their lifetime it will blooms or produce flowers and fruits finally after producing the seeds the plant will die such a unique characteristic feature is seen in case of bamboo the next important aspect is with reference to animals called animal breeding on the basis of periodicity of breeding animals on the basis of periodicity of breeding of animals there are two types namely seasonal and continuous breeders namely seasonal and continuous breeders most of the animals are seasonal breeders some of the classical example for the seasonal breeders are namely frogs lizards birds are said to be the some of the classical example for seasonal breeders seasonal breeders they reproduce at particular period of the year they reproduce at particular period of the year such a type of breeders are said to be the seasonal breeders some of the uh, classical example for seasonal breeders are namely frogs lizards and birds the second one is continuous breeders naturally you can find the presence of continuous breeding strategy is seen in case of rabbit in case of mice ratus ratus and also in case of queen honey bee you can find the presence of continuous breeding strategies in case of continuous breeders they reproduce throughout the reproductive phase they reproduce throughout their reproductive phase such a type of breeders are called continuous breeders some of the classical example for the continuous breeders are rabbit mice and queen honey bee are said to be the classical example for continuous breeders especially in case of placental animals mammals they normally comes under placental animals in females of the placental animals in females of the placental animals 
you can find the presence of cyclic changes in the activity of ovaries in the accessory ducts and also in the change in the hormonal composition leads to the initiation of reproductive phase there are two types of cycles are naturally seen in case of placental animals the two important cycles are namely menstrual cycle and the second one is easter cycle the first one is menstrual cycle and the second one is easter cycle no with reference to with reference to easter cycle especially in case of non pregnant mammals namely in the cows in the sheep and in the deer they exhibit a series of cyclic changes in the activity of ovaries and accessory ducts as well as hormone secretion during the reproductive phase called estrogen cycle the cycle it mainly consists of a short heat period during this period the female shows irresistible sexual urge and they normally involved in copulation or they normally involved in coitus resulting in the exchange of gametes there are several types of estrogen cycle is seen in case of non primates based on the number of estrogen cycle based on the number of estrogen cycle are taken into consideration to divide the estrogen cycle into three potent types namely monoestrous animals second one is diestrous animals the last one is polyestrous animals in case of monoestrous animals they exhibit single estrous cycle in a year such a unique characteristic feature is normally seen in case of deer the second one is diestrous animals in case of diestrous animals the animals exhibits two estrous cycle in a year such a unique feature is naturally seen in case of dogs the last one is polyestrous animals many easter cycles are seen in a year in certain animals you can find the presence of many easter cycles in a year such a type of animals are called polyestrous animals naturally in the mouse and in the rabbit in the mouse and in the rabbit you can find the presence of polyestrous condition with reference to menstrual cycle especially in the primates namely in the monkey in the apes and in the human beings you can find the presence of menstrual cycle in female primates namely in the monkey in the apes and humans the reproductive cycle is called menstrual cycle such animals they breed throughout the years such a type of animals are called continuous breeders they starts its reproductive cycle from puberty till the onset of menopause till the onset of menopause such a unique characteristic feature is seen in case of primates namely in the monkey in the apes and in the humans with reference to basic difference between the menstrual cycle and estrus cycle with reference to menstrual cycle 
the cyclic changes in the activity of the ovaries and accessory ducts as well as hormones during the reproductive phase of the primate mammals is called menstrual cycle during the course of menstrual cycle females do not show irresistible sexual art in case of female primates the shedding of endometria and bleeding occurs in case of females primates the shedding of endometrium and bleeding occurs there is no heat period and copulation occurs during the part of the cycle naturally you can find it as a menstrual cycle especially in the monkey apes and in case of human beings the second one is called is the cycle the cyclic changes in the activity of the ovaries accessory ducts as well as hormones they normally occurs during the reproductive phase of the non primate mammals during the reproductive phase of non primate mammals are called estrous cycle during the course of estrous cycle the female shows strong irresistible sexual urge during that period the coitus or the copulation will take place in case of non primate mammals no shedding of endometrium and no bleeding phase is seen in case of estrous cycle there is estrous or heat production at the time of ovulation and copulation occurs only at that period naturally you can find it as of estrous cycle in the cows in the sheep 